with Team Atlantic hosting the Quadrilla Marble League, of course there's going to be an aquatic element, and here it is swimming to round out the first half of the season. All 16 teams in the A Division have done this event before, despite it being the first time in an official season. All teams, either in the friendly round or in the qualifiers, have done this event before, and because all of these teams are qualified, we should expect some of those good marbles in this event to do it again. Valley Dashers only four points ahead of the Red Lotus, resurgent of late efficient eggs in third place, Green Lotus dropping out of the podium places into fourth. Of course, heats of four, where the top two advances, same format as in all Heats of Four events, with the Valley Dashers, Celestials, Slime Bowls, and Team Atlantic. I think all of these marbles have done it, either in the friendly round or the qualifiers, and it is the Slime Bowls with Uzi in the lead. Celestial is trying to drop with them, and those two should move on to the semi-finals. Team Atlantic, they do beat the Valley Dashers, the championship leaders, so they will not get a fourth last place in a row. They're guaranteed points. And is saying something for how poorly the host team season has gone for them. But Sea Turtle, nonetheless, with a 9.78 seconds, gets hopefully a respectable finish, if not a uh, top half. Valley Dashers, though, that is not good. With some of the other teams have a chance to overtake them in the standings, including the Red Lotus setting their reserve carnation in their first ever event. The Yellow Lotus Deep Divers and the Aquamarines and the Red Lotus have taken the lead. But here are the Aquamarines and the Deep Divers trying to give chase. Aquamarines trying to go around. The Deep Divers go around them. And the Deep Divers pip the Aquamarines to the line. They will be moving on along with the Red Lotus. Sunflower, the reserve of the Yellow Lotus, wasn't a reserve when they, this, when they did this event in the qualifiers. But nonetheless, they get 10.08 seconds. That is going to be fourth in the second heat. Carnation, though, the other reserve gets first. And they advance. And this could potentially mean... They overtake the Valley Dashers in the championship. Now Efficient Eggs, Bobble Squad, Poison Ivy, and the Shadow Riders in the third heat. Efficient Eggs got the win in this event in their group. In the qualifiers, Poison Ivy also got the win this event in the friendly round. And it is those two out on the lead. Poison Ivy trying to weave back and forth to break the draft. They will hold on for the win and the Efficient Eggs in second place. But the Shadow Riders and Bubbles, well, they're right there, no distance apart really, but they just cannot make the move. It is really hard to get by your competitor. You can get the draft underwater, but you really do need to get a good sense of direction. And the Poison Ivy and the Efficient Eggs are going to be moving on. Now Green Lotus, Majestic Melons, Icicles, and the Hazelnuts. In the final heat, Clover, Wintermelon, Sleet, and Filbert. I said Fish and Eggs won their group in the previous heat. Hazelnuts with Filibert won their group and had the fastest time out of anyone. So they actually have the record with a sub 9 second time. It is Winter Melon from the Majestic Melons though. Out in front, Icicles trying to get around them. And they do. And here's everyone coming back. Green Lotus and the Hazelnuts also might have got by the Majestic Melons. It's a three-way battle for the other transfer position. Majestic Melons, look at this, out in front, but here's the icicles just moving around them, and the Majestic Melons completely fell apart in terms of their momentum, and the Green Lotus bit both the Majestic Melons and the Hazelnuts, and those two finish with poor times, 11 second times, and they're finishing in the bottom two spots. Wintermelon and Filibert, not good events for them. Team Atlantic gets the best of the rest, Aquamarines in 10th, then it's the Yellow Lotus and the Championship Leaders. Only four points from this event. Now, semi-final eight. Slime Balls, Deep Divers, Poison Ivy, and the Green Lotus. Our top three overall from season two. In that order, starting in the semi-final, the others, the Green Lotus. The fourth best team from last season qualified because the Golden Cheeses didn't qualify. Here's the Deep Divers and the Poison Ivy trying to get advanced, but was that the Slime Balls getting past the Deep Divers? We'll have to see. Look at this. Deep Divers out in front. But did they pull a Majestic Melons? They get passed by the Poison Ivy. And here's Slime Balls in the draft with the Poison Ivy. Getting around the Deep Divers. And the Deep Divers, once again, they fail to make the medals. Potion and Uzi, though, going to be moving on to the final. Uzi from the Slime Balls. Got a gold last event. Might do it again this event. We'll have to see. Now, Celestials, Red Lotus, Fish and Eggs. And the icicles 
icicles. Great entry into the water. They are out in the lead. If Fish and Eggs and Red Lotus trying to give chase to the Valley Dashers, those two in second and third in the championship, Red Lotus get by the icicles, and the Red Lotus and the Celestials are going to be moving on. Celestials got in the lead past the icicles, and the icicles, the momentum just goes away for them, and the Celestials, the other reserves, Celestials and Red Lotus, the two reserves in this heat are moving on to the final. Efficient Eggs and the Icicles, they bow out in the semi-final. They will get 6th and 8th respectively. Deep Divers get 5th. Their 2nd, 5th in a row, I think. The Green Lotus gets 7th. And now for the final. Poison Ivy, Red Lotus, Slime Balls, and Celestials. No captains, but two reserves in this final. Including Carnation and Nebula, two marbles that have never done an A Division event before. And they plunge into the water for the final time. Uzi had the lead, but here's Carnation for the Red Lotus. Poison Ivy now take it. Could the Poison Ivy get their first goal ever? No, they get they fall all the way to last. Red Lotus, will they cross the line first? Yes, they will. Poison Ivy, they'll get by for second place. And the slime balls choke a podium. And the celestials get by. Look at the slime balls in second place. Here's them just slowing down, almost coming to a stop. Poison Ivy get by for second, and the slime balls can continue not to not be able to move forward. And so the Celestials get the bronze. But the Red Lotus in second place in the championship. Valley Dashers only getting four points from this event. Red Lotus a full 25. And it's the hands of the reserve Carnation who've just done their first event ever, and it's gold. Poison Ivy will get second, their second medal of the season, the Celestials' third medal of the season in a row at the hands of their reserve too, Nebula. But Carnation from the Red Lotus, they have gotten five medals, that is two more than any other team at a minimum. They are going to get a huge lead in the championship ahead of the Valley Dashers, Poison Ivy and Celestials, though, making up good ground in the championship, each of them rising spots, the Red Lotus 113 points after the first half. Valley Dashers fall to second, and it's the Efficient Eggs, Green Lotus, Majestic Melon staying in their places, but the Celestials move up to sixth place. Slime Balls, Bubble Squad rounding out the top half, Poison Ivy rising up to ninth. After this event, we will see swimming again for the B Division, then after that, the obstacle race for the A Division. Mm -hmm.